87. We're looking for 88. Yes, on that side. What did he say is on that side? So we're looking for Tinibu's house, number 88. Tinibu's house right now as you can see the police is marching with us to protect the public because we got a big crowd here in London we're looking for Tinibu's house number 88 as you can see the police is guarding the protesters Benita reporting live from Nation Scoops Oh, my God. 
Everybody, let us look for 88. Go for 88. Come at this. 88. <laughs> Enough is enough. Say no people, nobody dies. Our people, our people did that they want to come them to us. And yet they're saying we are the leaders Can you give us an update? Where are we right now?
Nursery and midwife council or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Welcome. Nursery and midwife. That's what it says on the door, so that's what I'm going on. Why are you going to move the door now? I don't know. Do you want to move the door? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, but what? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, from what that people are saying, that should be it. I don't so, know if it is. So maybe they knew we were on the way, so they picked people up there. Quite possibly. I don't know. I, I just, There's a light in there. Yeah. It still doesn't look like, that, again, that building again, looks that doesn't, doesn't that look like a politician's office. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like Conscience House and Society. So I think we are misleading you. I'm not misleading anyone. No, 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 we are, like, the uh, people. Someone is, whoever's uh, organised this... That's been, not the house. I don't think it is. I agree with you. Yeah. I, I don't think much is house will look like that. No, but, no. but, obviously, the crowd seems to have decided that it is no, his house. not the house. I don't think, I think you're right. That's not the house. That's not the house. It's a little more house. It's a little more house. Can anyone Google huh? if the NMC is that address? Yeah. That's using common sense. It says on the NMC, check if the NMC nursery, midwifery, if it's here, no, no, it's not in the who says it's here? I have nice, nice windows and blinds and windows and that. Sorry, can you Google, can so you Google nice. the NMC to know if this is the NMC's house? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Can then you take Google the number off. If this is the NMC, because it says on the door NMC. No, what I Google is. Yeah, uh, can you just Google uh, nursing and midwifery council? Nursing, midwifery council. Check if this, if this is Cavendish Street. If it's not, then they are lying to us. Was it Cavendish Street here? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, See, it says that this is that this is Portland Place, which is that road there, so it could be this. That so would what make is sense. This? So what is it this? would make sense that this is just a side door, the main door would be around there, because okay. this whole building is part of that road. Okay. Oh, I, I, see. I think that's I mean, if, if you put nursing in with the council, yes. you get 23 Portland Place. Now that, that road there is Portland Place. On the other side. So this is not Tinibu's house. I, I don't think so. No. 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 This is not Tinibu's house. That's what I'm saying. Use your common sense. That's this exactly. is the house. This is the back of the NMC. The building is on the other side. So that we are the, on the other side. Yeah, the building of this NMC is on the other side. This is not Tinibu's.
that me to die as a to die for sickness is better than die for something. A man don't die for nothing. He need to die for something. You understand? You must fight this war. Fight them and get our country a better country. I don't want my children to experience my infant and no go to school. I want my begin to go to school. I'm fighting for my child. Future. If I don't fight this war now, how my begin will fight them? If I we don't gather here now, how our children go gather here? We must make our country a better country. I think say, travel is a part of education, but why they travel past winch? Why did they fly past winch? Why did you go to America and don't learn nothing? Why did you go to London and don't learn nothing? Why did you go to different country? You didn't learn nothing. I think say, that travel is a part of education. Why did you don't travel? You don't bring nothing to us. It's killing and sorrow. We are tired. Who does that except our president? He overrides for coronavirus. Our country, then Qatar and your warehouse, put her in a abandoned house. In a abandoned house, then put our indomie. How are you there on Qatar? 30 years, go eat children indomie. In this country, now children get indomie. Adults get pandemia. But in our country, now adults get indomie. Children in our country get pandemia. How big is it? Go to so the school and go to the street, they say banana. Children, they carry tray for head. You go carry tray, say they move. You don't get head again. Let's go go to pa pa me.
keep coming down. Guys, keep coming down. Keep so we are at the BBC right now. We want the British media to get involved. Yes. I think we must start. Back up our attitude. 
question for today is that the world government as a whole should be we need to the call UN. on the UN. Should be we need to call on Amnesty UK. We need to call on Red Cross. You. We need to call on BP Garage. Yes, we need yes, to yes, call yes. on Shell Garage. We want answers. We want justice. We want justice. Yeah, 
There's no point practicing selective journalism. We come to Africa, we don't want to report it. We come to Nigeria, we don't want to report it. Okay, someone wants to speak. But the hijackers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me give you a self life. Don't talk about your difference. Let him, let him. You need to talk. You should be the right guy that will be talking about your difference. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Let's listen. To 
honor the memory of those who lost their lives yes. at the hands of an oppressive regime. Yes. A regime that presides over impunity, yes. has no respect for the fundamental rights or freedoms of anyone. Yes. That formed the basis as to why a group of protesters at the Lekki yes. Toll Gate at the Lekki Toll Gate yes. were murdered in cold blood. Yes! Louder, louder. Bola Tinubu, as we all know, reaps so much in revenue terms yes. from that toll gate franchise. Yes! And so, as far as Bola Tinubu was concerned, the lives of those protesting for the good of Nigeria mattered not. But, Rather, what was of fundamental concern to him was the income he makes for his pocket. Yes! And so, in typical divisive tactics, he ordered the lights, the, switch li the street lights and the toll gate to be switched off. Yes! The cameras, the cameras removed. Yes! And then, in the, as a result of this, the most deadly assault yes. on a group of protesters occurred. Yes. Peaceful protesters. Resulting in close to 80 deaths. Wow. More than that. More than that. More than that. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. And so, 200. We are here not just to honor their memory, but thus far, I want to commend everyone for the effort we've made throughout today. Thank you. But having arrived here, it would defeat the essence of the purpose. We are right before one of the most iconic media establishments in global journalism. Yes. Right before you is the BBC office. Yes. Why would you then walk down here and refuse to seize the opportunity to address the hypocrisy of the West? Free Johnson! When it comes, when it comes to a system of reporting, all they do is selectively report. Yes. When it comes to an African issue, it is no issue. Yes. We have a British High Commissioner named Catherine Lang. And the yes. Treasury. Call her call the Treasury out. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. She presides with over impunity. Thank you. Sits and watches the full and eat. They are locked up. Yes, as they continue to suppress, subjugate, and slaughter, and inflict yes, loss of life. Yes, sir. Yet, can you <laughs> help the British High Commissioner will come to the UK and refuse to report it to the home government? Imagine! This is an opportunity to tell all those selected reporters in BBC to change their attitude. Yes. Thank you! All they are concerned is having up Western laptops. Yes. All they are concerned is broken up regimes yes. that answer the status quo. Yes. 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 Rather than look at the genuine interest of the public. Yes. They are more concerned the with the violence of the yes. so the Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now the hour of reckoning has come. Yes. And that is why we are using this opportunity to bring to the attention of British politicians that we are fully aware of the complicity of certain top politicians in the scheme of affairs that has brought that nation to a precipitous state. Yes, we are aware. Right on, right on! Catherine Osama is a British born MP. Yes. She tabled before the House of Commons, or if not the Lords, I, I, I've forgotten that, that they were, the MP for Edmonton, yes. somebody has corrected, that there were credible allegations that the British government yes. is busy financing yes. not just Boko Haram, SARS. I, but SARS. I, yes. I, I told you. Yeah, the people, killing our people. 
they are the people killing our people. Yes. Yes. I'm telling you. Give me corrections. Yes. Let the yes. Metropolitan Trump. Police Trump. train Trump. SAS. Trump. Yes. Yes. But let's give them yes. credit. Yes. Yes. These are very civilized yes. police officers. Yes. Yes. I am impressed. Who train Nigerian policemen mm. and who expect these same policemen to uphold the standards of training they acquired in the UK? Sadly, as soon as these policemen who train in Scotland Yard get to Nigeria, they become beasts. Animals. Yeah. Animals. 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 Taking advantage of the poor, unleashing mayhem. Now, Nigerians cannot go about their business. Oh. Their daily chores because of fear of this terrible police formation called SAS. 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 So we and are calling SWAT. And it's been changed yes. to SWAT. SWAT is another disguise. Yes. 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 It is an extension yes. of the same old order yes. that yes. used to be SAS. Yes. 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 It makes no difference. And that is why, precisely why, as soon as SARS was disbanded, there were, there were reports of this, the, the continuous presence of SARS. Some men were still found with the SARS t-shirts. That means, effectively, they are telling us that SARS was not banned. Without trials of SARS. Yes. If there is no means of enforcing a ban that they said took place, and yet, one week later, you still see men with SARS t-shirts. Then it means it is a hoodwink. They practically deceive us. SARS, it is, it is a fraud. Yes. 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 Here we have a government. Nigeria is a fraud. Yes, Nigeria is a fraud. Yes. Now, when we say, when we say Nigeria is a contraption, what do we mean? What do we mean? Yes. When we say Nigeria is a contraption, what do we mean? Let's go back to the colonial basis. The colonial basis. The very foundations on which that, Niger that uh, state was formed. Now, if some of you might remember, I don't know if any of you did the history of Nigeria. A bit of the good. Now, we all knew, we all knew of, we, we all knew, we all knew of the various works of, yes, of, I will, I will summarize it, I understand it, so we use the time wisely, I will summarize it, yes. When we say Nigeria is a contraption, we derive the logic of that reasoning from the very basis of that country, the basis on which it was founded. The British, they would say, gave us education. But um, that, edu that education was, that the British, they would say, gave us education. But that education was fraught. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. That was why, one of the reasons why we live in separate spheres, separate, separate regional spheres, why there is so much tribalism is because the British defined our boundaries. Of course! Constitutional reform. Of course. Constitutional reform. I know that. Of course. And let me mention them. Uh -uh. Is them that causing problem? From Hugh Clifford in 1922, to Sir Otto Richards, to the last colonial master, Sir Oliver Littleton. Every constitution. Okay. So well, as we know. That is the basis of the division we suffer today. Yes! And as... No, hold on, hold on. And that is why, today, that sectionalism, that's why I recall the history of the country. The sectional interest 
that brought about a system of administration where almost all the positions are occupied by the now. Do you now see where I'm coming from? Yeah. 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 There must be a historical basis yes. as to why there is so much nepotism, how, why there is so much corruption, why a group of Fulani men known to be nomads from the Sahel who yeah. found favor with the British aristocracy. Yes. Why should they be brought in Nigeria? Yes. Because they produce nothing, they know nothing. Yes. They do nothing. Yes. 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 And sit and preside over our life. Yes. So we don't want this anymore. Yes. No. That is how no. Bad is. No. Answers. Answers. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is a very good Thank you very much. That is a very good job. Yes. Information. Information just got to me now.